Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is how to handle keyboard and mouse actions using Selenium WebDriver. Let me answer. In Selenium WebDriver, we have a predefined class known as actions class using which we can handle or simulate keyboard and mouse actions. Let me practically demonstrate this for you in this session. So for that, I'll switch to this Eclipse ID where some sample Selenium automation code is already written for opening the Chrome browser, for maximizing the browser. And here I need to open the application URL. I'll open this browser and take you to one sample application URL that is omaya.blogspot.com. Once we are on this omaya.blogspot.com, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to move my mouse onto this blocks menu and under the blocks menu, again, I'm going to hover the mouse on this second option that is Selenium by Arun. And if I directly perform mouse click, it will open in the same page. This is not what I'm going to do. Okay. So what I'm going to do is first using the mouse, I'm going to handle the mouse by moving it onto blocks menu. And from there, I'm going to move it to the Selenium by Arun option. And after that, I am going to simulate or handle the keyboard key. That is, I'm going to press and hold down the control key and click it and then release the control key. Here, two things are there. I am not only handling the mouse, but also handling the keyboard key that is control key. So that this particular Selenium I Arun will open in the new tab. Okay, so let's do that. For that, I'll copy this URL and uh, paste it here. After that, what I have to do? I have to create an object for the actions class. Actions, actions is equal to new actions. Like this, I'll create an object for the actions class in Selenium. Pour the mouse on this and import this actions class from Selenium library. And to this constructor of actions class, I need to pass this web driver's driver. Okay, done. Now, the next thing is I need to use this object reference actions and move my mouse. Okay, I have to handle the mouse by hovering it onto the so actions dot move to element. There's one command in actions class known as move to element, which will move your mouse onto the required element. I would like to move my mouse onto the blocks menu. I'll inspect this blocks. And this is HTML code. It has an ID. This blocks has an ID. Copy this and create a web element before moving to this here. Create a web element driver dot find element by dot ID ID of that blocks menu option. And uh, here simply say blocks menu is equal to, and this is a web element, okay, create. Now copy this web element inside this move to element, okay. After hovering the mouse onto the blocks, now I want to move to the Selenium by Arun. I'll inspect the Selenium by Arun, which is, uh, which is some text between this span tags, okay. Copy this. Under the anchor tag, we have the spam, uh, span tag, under span tag, we have this. So I'll do one thing. I'll create an XPath expression, double slash A slash span, text is equal to text function is equal to like this. I'll create an XPath expression. Once this is created, it, it is located. Selenium by Arun got located. Copy this XPath expression. Come back here and uh, create a web element. Here I have to move from here to move to element again. I have to move the mouse from blocks menu to the new element. That is a uh, driver dot find element by dot XPath. Whatever XPath I created for that Selenium by Arun option. Put a semicolon here. I'll simply say Selenium by Arun option. Okay. Create a web element out of it. Now copy this. After moving the mouse to this element from here to this, now I want to press, press and hold down the control key. I don't want to release the control key. I just want to press down the control key. For that, there is a command key down, key down. Okay. It will press the key and doesn't release. Which key? Keys dot control key this this key control key okay you don't have to release now i have to perform here in this process we have already handled the mouse you already handled the keyboard key by pressing is down press, pressing the control key down while the control key is pressed down you want to mouse left click for mouse left click you have to use a command known as dot click command that's it okay and after clicking i would like to release this key whatever the key that is pressed down i would like to release how to release Say dot key up, key up again the same key you provide keys dot control. Okay, keys dot 
control like this. And now at the end, put the dot build dot perform. If you don't provide this dot build dot perform, all these commands will not be working. Okay, actions class commands to work. We have to end them with there are multiple commands. You have to say build dot perform. If there is only one command, directly dot perform. Okay. Uh, you can organize like this if you want. Okay. You are not able to see everything. Just organize like this. These are all the activities we are doing. Okay. Dot build dot perform. Okay. So actions. So this should do the thing. So using the actions class, we are able to handle both mouse and keyboard keys. Okay. This combination of mouse and keyboard keys are there here. Okay. To get this done. So right click run as the application. Run this code. Let's see what's happen. What will happen? It should open that Selenium by ARM option in that blocks menu in a new tab. Okay, that should happen. It should hover the mouse onto the blocks menu from there to the Selenium. It should open in the new tab. You see, everything has been done. Selenium by ARM has been opened in the new tab. Okay, so hope guys, you got the answer for this question. That is how to handle the keyboard and mouse actions using Selenium WebDriver. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye bye.